It's time for Quiplash with your host, Josh Schmitty Schmidtstenstein. Who's me? Oh, that's me. I'm Schmitty. I knew that. The great thing about a fresh game is that right now, you're all tied for first place. And last. Here's round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious or not for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go!
time's running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Let's start this show. Starting things off, how does Adele come up with those great songs? Okay, choose your favorite. of a really crappy robot. Put in your votes. is the name of an exhibit you'd be surprised to see at an art museum. Ready, set, vote! That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. <laughs> round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Let's have a look. Number one on the list, Control Shift Alt 6 is the little known keyboard shortcut to do this. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. one, the next big reality show, America's Got Blank. Okay, vote. volunteer work would be helping the blank. Time to vote.
That's it for round two. Let's see those scores. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. Here is your word lash task. Let's see what you've wrought. Each of you has a gold medal to award to your favorite quip. Make your picks now. The suspense is killing me. Let's see who got those medals. Let's melt those medals down for points. We're done. Let's see the final scores. I'm Schmitty. You might remember me as the host of Quiplash. Or maybe you just blocked me out. 
I don't want to make this weird, but one of you is my secret crush. I know, try not to freak out. Time for round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Running out, pick fast or use a safety clip. <laughs> Let's start this show. Up first, the real reason the giant at the top of the beanstalk was trying to kill Jack. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Next in the hopper, you should always play before you get married. Get to voting! Next is the worst way to die, death by a thousand blank. Vote on your devices. Next up, what's the boogeyman's part-time job? Vote away. Coming up next, the last thing you want to hear from somebody sitting in front of you on a megabus. And vote. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Yeah. Round two is here, so let's double the points and bonuses, shall we?
almost out of time. Use the safety quick button if you have to. Time to share. The first prompt is what a moron would say at a museum. Okay, pick your favorite. Next in line, a dramatic line that Gilbert Godfrey definitely couldn't pull off. Vote now. Next on the list, the most common injury of the super wealthy. It's voting time. Next prompt, the one change churches could make that would probably get more people to attend. And vote. Next, weird advice from your grandfather, don't take any wooden blank. Time to vote. Round two is now complete. Let's see where we landed. <laughs> Round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Invent the full phrase that goes with this acronym. Moment of truth. Decide who gets a medal.
See where those medals went. Bronze, silver, and now the gold. All right, let's turn that into cold hard points. And we're finished. Show me those final scores.
Welcome to Trivia Night, voted most painful quiz show seven straight years, but with like a fun party game twist. Need a mosquito, huh? I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And it's not too late to join the audience and play along. But enough of me talking, let's play! Alright, first question. Oh my god, the Gap Store closes too early. Speaking of white wines, which of these is a white wine? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to the killing floor. Let me ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's the best ice cream flavor? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. You know, a writer who's bad with deadlines. Answering was not optional. Ah! Only you left in here, huh? Well, get out of here, you lucky little rascal. Here's everybody's score so far. Are scores important? If you crave external validation, then yeah. Let's try this again. Okay, this actually happened. In real life. Which of these Adam Sandler movies received an Oscar nomination? Let's go someplace fun. Hello, guten tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. All of the safe players have been provided with a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. It's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. Um, confession. I haven't washed these chalices in a while, so I'm sorry if they taste kinda funky. Mmm. Hope it tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. Brace yourself. You're a ghost now. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. I mean, I was a ghost for a while, but I got better. Just to prove this isn't a fever dream, here are the scores again. All right, next question. What country does Hadrian's Wall slice through the heart of? And the correct answer is... 
this one? Very good. All right, next question. What is a Moscow mule traditionally served in? Use your device to answer the question. That means you weirdos in the audience, too. Time's running out. Who said this? Let's play a game. Let's play the finger cutting game. Uh, fingers are overrated, right? Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. There's no wrong answer or right answer. Ah! We do have fun here. How about this? Kerning is when you remove the space between what? This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Let's get artistic up in here. Now, no pressure, but you will die if you screw this up. A terrible way to die. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst oh, drawing. Aw, oh, don't be shy. Pick a drawing for punishment. My patience is wearing thin. The votes are in. I actually really enjoyed what you made, but rules are rules. I think you found your true calling as a splatter artist. Let's try another one. Which of the following is an end product of photosynthesis? Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. And if any of them do better than you, it will be painful. Math time! Let's go! While you guys are doing math, I've been learning how to fold origami. Today is all about improving ourselves. <clears throat> Math time is almost up. Aw oh, man, you're too good at math. <laughs> I 
got more questions for you. 127 hour subject Aaron Ralston cut off his right arm in which state? And the correct answer is... This. I have a surprise for you! Well, you're not very lucky. Prove it by spinning the loser wheel! Go ahead! Give it a big spin! Yeah. Round and round she goes, where she stops... How in the what? How'd you do that? Here's another one. After you watch the mysterious videotape from the ring, how long do you have before you die? The answer is... this one. You're in for a treat. <laughs> it's time for a memory game. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If any of those other players do better than you, I will be very unhappy. <laughs> Hurry up, memory time is almost over. This was the pattern, you silly gooses. How close did you get? You got it exactly right. Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. Next question. What is Mr. Snuffleupagus's first name? Yeah. <laughs> Who said this? Let's play a game. Let's have some fun with spelling! Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I do this all the time for my job. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it! Start poking those letters with your fingers. By the way, the letters don't have to be touchy. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time! Let's see what you could come up with! A tie? That's not good for anybody. Oh crap, everybody's dead. I need somebody alive for the final round. Okay then. I don't want to hear any complaints about not bringing everyone back to life, okay? Anyway, back to business. Well, look who's still alive. 
Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Simpsons characters voiced by Hank Azaria. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Decisions, decision. Ghost is gonna catch ya! New York City neighborhoods. Anytime today, kiddo. You killed your friend! Better get away fast! Can you stay out of the shadows? Classified as bears. Time is almost up. No fair. Film titles. Another life swap. Here's another one. Star Wars planets and moons. Decisions, decisions. African deserts.
<laughs> Hi, the party's downstairs. Come on in. can't get enough of little old me. I'm flattered. And you're about to be dead. Okay, first question. I should label this question. Hashtag throwback Thursday. Who did Dick Cheney shoot in the face? answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. Well, 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 there seems to be a pile of money on the floor. Hey, we could use this to start a theater company. But we won't. Take as much money as you want. But take the most money or the least money and you'll be sorry. Enjoy trying to get into each other's minds. <laughs> it's not a math problem. Just pick the amount of money you want. How much did everybody take? 
It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. I should have bet money on this outcome. <laughs> Here's how everybody's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. Oh, and let's pay attention to the audience for a moment. They get lonely. Hey, audience, you're an embarrassment to all uncaptured people. Let's try another one. Phileas Fogg is a character from which novel? Prepare for your punishment. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. Uh-oh, this is a mess. I'm going to need everyone's help. There's blood all over this art. Memorize the pattern of blood. Alright, that's enough time. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testing. If you don't have it by now, you're just guessing. Here's that arc again, and here's what you did. Well, the door's open. Did anybody walk through? And down you go! It's kind of weird that the other players wanted you dead, right? Like, they didn't even have that much to gain. They just wanted you dead. Here's that scoreboard again. I made it pretty clear what this was the first time, right? Ah, I think I'm over explaining. Let's try another one. When I'm not wearing human skin, I usually wear cashmere. And Crocs. I love my Crocs. What animal does cashmere come from? Time for a dice game! I'll go first! Five. Now I need a little help from a safe player. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Oh, look at me! I don't want my friends to die! Roll higher than me or you die. The dice were on your side. I knew I should have gone with the giant Plinko board. Quick shout out to all my dead people. Looking good. Alright, next question. What magical land did Teddy Ruxpin come from? said this let's play a game I think it's time for some senseless violence you can attack someone else you can 
defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Okay, make your choices. You know, life is all about making choices. Well, that's what it says on this inspirational poster anyway. I bet you feel dumb for defending when no one even cared enough to attack you. And if you don't feel dumb now, this should help. Wait, we got all this way just for everybody to die at once? Aw, oh, hell no. We're doing the final round. You have the most money, so you get one more chance. The time has come. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. Here's your first category. Transformers. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Chemical elements. Decisions to s The ghosts are getting close now. Girl Scout cookies. Anytime today, kiddo. Afraid of the dark? You should be. Phases of the moon. A ghost is right on your tail. Watch out. Yoga poses. Almost up. Now you're alive. What a crazy game, am I right? Countries on the Arabian Peninsula.
Ich hab's da. I get it. You did well. So much blood. Decisions, decisions. 